Now my wife and I are on a vacation. That doesn't mean I can take time off. And I thought this would be a perfect time to share what I think is the ultimate travel rig for composing. It's maxed out. I like to bring all my samples with me all the time that contain about 16 terabytes of samples. Hi, I'm Don Badan. In today's video, we're going to be sharing secrets and tips that'll help you become a better composer. When I first started scoring professionally 12, 15 years ago, I was traveling about six months a year. And even since that time, I've continued to travel and get projects where I needed to score, mix, and master and deliver it all while I'm on the road. Now, some of the biggest projects I've ever worked on have been while I'm traveling as a digital nomad, working from hotel rooms or even airports. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about making music on the go. I'm gonna share the three main types of mobile rigs that I see for producing music. I'll go over all the details in my current mobile music studio. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what steps I'm doing to make this the ultimate mobile music studio rig. Before we jump in, I just want to say a big thank you to Audio Ollie. They've sponsored today's video. They've just released a massive update to LA Modern Percussion. With an all new set of noise reduced samples and a powerful new custom groove engine. Audio Ollie's taken this library to new heights. The library was created in collaboration with legendary score mixer Alan Meyerson and you can grab the updated version of LA Modern Percussion now for $2.99. Normally sells for $4.49. And I'll include the link and the promo code so you can take advantage of that sale. First thing below. Now there's a lot of ways to make music on the go these days and the three main travel rigs that I've used or tried out all had to be able to let me use virtual instruments, have a DAW, do some mixing, mastering for a final deliver product. Now the easiest way to jump into the mobile composing rig game is to get a powerful laptop, a MIDI keyboard, and some headphones of course. I've created countless scores with this setup myself and in order for that mobile laptop rig to be as efficient as possible, you just need the fastest computer you can possibly afford, and all of your components need to be able to fit into a backpack or some kind of compact case. Now, there's a lot of people doing beats and making music with iPads nowadays, and I say, good for you. I'm confident the future of mobile music making will be on an iPad or tablet, but for me, I've got 20 years of muscle memory working with a proper computer DAW work system with keyboard, mouse, and I honestly am not sure if I could ever make that change to be as effective to quickly produce top quality master audio files for a client as I can on a DAW inside the computer. Which brings me to the reason why we're here in the first place, to talk about my current mo mobile rig. Sorry guys. Uh, my wife is calling me to go pack. We're supposed to be leaving on vacation in about an hour, and I didn't pack yet, so um, I guess I'm gonna bring you with me. Now my wife and I are on a vacation. We can have a week out here in this beautiful, quiet cabin. So snowy, serene. We're gonna be sitting by the fire a lot to stay warm. That doesn't mean I can take time off. And I thought this would be a perfect time to share what I think is the ultimate travel rig for composing. So I'm on vacation, but still need to bring my setup. Now in the past, I would have just brought a laptop, a little keyboard, 
but I've upgraded my mobile rig just because I've been doing and plan to be doing so much traveling. So as you can see, this is just a dining room table I'm using because we're at a vacation property. We've got my monitor, keyboard, trackpad, and a little bitty mini lab from Arturia. But where the magic really happens is over here. In my flight case, I've got a Mac Mini, and that's the heart of my mobile setup. Now, I bought my Mac Mini at the end of 2018, and it still has the fastest Intel CPU you can get with a 3.2 gigahertz 6-core Intel i7 processor. I loaded it up with 64 gigabytes of RAM and opted for a 2 terabyte internal SSD. It could support up to three displays with the Thunderbolt and HDMI ports on the back, two USB-A ports, and 10 gigabyte Ethernet port, so it can support up to three displays with the Thunderbolt and the HDMI. It also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but we won't worry about that. Now I've yet to run out of processing power for audio production work, so even though the latest Mac Mini M1s are now out and are supported by most of the third-party audio software I use, I just don't see a need to upgrade at this time. Now my rack mount case does have a second Mac Mini slot, so it would be easy for me to add another Mac Mini and set up a Vienna Ensemble Pro Master and Slave system to really expand the power of this in the future. In addition, I like to bring all my samples with me all the time. As you can see, I've got these Black Magic docks here that contain about 16 terabytes of samples. One thing I never have enough of when I'm traveling is USB, so I went ahead and got a 13 port USB one unit rack facing on the front of my case here. I never don't have USB power or a place to plug in USB 3 devices. Then I have a second Blackmagic dock. This one I keep for videos. This makes it so we have an easy way to keep my music and sample work separate from our videos that we edit. Right now I have Apogee Quartet as my device and of course a headphone splitter which is the only critique I have of this device. I wish it had two native independent headphone outputs. I have four inputs for microphones on the back because I often set up a couple mics for vocals and a couple mics for guitar as well if I'm doing any recording while we're traveling. If I'm really in a pinch, I go ahead and I will mix in headphones. I've got the DT770 Pros. And I love my Bayer Dynamic headphones. However, what makes them so reliable is a piece of software called Reference 4 by Sonoworks, which has allowed me to load up an EQ profile for my particular set of headphones to simulate a flat response. By having my headphones calibrated in this way, I'm able to know that my mix should sound pretty good, even though I'm doing it on headphones. I've been able to mix and master on my own with this kind of setup with these headphones on tons of projects for commercials and TV. So I've chosen to have no difference or compromise between my mobile rig and my home rig. I literally just wheel it out with me. It's much bigger than just having a laptop, but it gives me the full power to do everything, not only that I need to do, but I don't have to worry about. Did I bring the samples? Did I bring the projects? Everything I have, I'm working on here. I also wanted to share that I use a program called Backblaze. Backblaze backs up all of my hard drives, all my files to the cloud. It makes it so that I can access all of my files everywhere I am. So even though I'm bringing everything with me, if I accidentally delete something and I don't have my physical hard drive backup of my system or my sample libraries, I can still go on to my Backblaze account and just download what I needed from there. Now this system works really well for me, although it is bigger and much bulkier than if I just had a laptop in my backpack. The pros far outweigh the cons for me though. Looking into what I wanted to do to have a mobile all the time rig, this was the most streamlined version I could find. There's still some things I want to do in the future, but I want to keep everything in a shock mount case, road ready case, so that I know it's at least protected when I'm driving around with it or if I need to jump on a plane.
my plan has always been to build this so that it could be a custom place to store my keyboard. I just haven't got around to it yet, so I'm just throwing it in for now with a couple towels. Yeah, not exactly the safest, but if I'm doing any serious traveling, I usually keep it separate. The week's gone by like that. I'm a little more relaxed. And yes, I did have projects to work on in the middle of vacation, which is exactly why I built this rig. All right, back from vacation. I'm feeling rested. Do I look rested? If you've been following the channel for a little while, then you probably know my wife and I are in the middle of this major life change. We picked up a 40 foot bus. We've been converting it into our new home. And of course, I'm gonna be building out a mobile studio area in the bus so I can continue to work and make videos like this for you guys. However, because I'm changing my definition of mobile rig now from something that I could hop on a plane with to something that I could have in a tiny house space, I'm gonna to have to rethink what the ultimate studio rig is for me. And over the next couple months, I'm picking up a bunch of new gear. I'm gonna be testing it out. And I'll be sharing it with you here on the channel. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna catch some of the reviews I do of new gear in the future, updating my rig, optimizing it. So if there's any new gear that's come out in the last three, six months that you think I should look into or check out to review on the channel, see if it's good for my rig, please comment below. Or if you have a favorite piece of gear that you're using for your mobile rig that I didn't talk about, comment with that below as well. I'd love to hear about it. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, thumbs up, and a big thanks again to Audio Ollie, the sponsor of today's video, helped us put this together. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here on the channel today. I'm pleased that you spent some time here with me. Thank you.